All right, so recently we just posted an episode all about TIG torches that uh, showed you guys how they work, how to identify them, all the rest of that good stuff. It's a really awesome episode to watch, but a lot of uh, people were asking if we can kind of slow down the torch assembly video and maybe put some side-by-sides together. So that's what's in this video, slowed down version of the torch assembly for you guys to reference later on, and some side-by-side -side comparisons of all those torches lined up and what they look like next to each other, all the rest of that good good. Here we go. Whoops, <laughs> wrong slide. Oh, come on. So let's start at the top. First we have our back caps. Now the back caps are available in small, medium, and large. They are hollow on the inside, so the tungsten will slide up into the back cap depending on how long it is. Now you can choose which one you want to use. It doesn't necessarily matter, but small, medium, and large, those are your back caps. Next up we have our tungsten. Now the tungsten is whatever size you want to use, whatever flavor, you know, color, design, etc, etc. I'm a big fan of uh, purple and pink, but either way, the tungsten slides into the collet. Now the collet is a little small piece that has either a slit or a wedge cut or an angle cut on the end of it. The tungsten slides down into the collet and the collet clamps down on the tungsten preventing it from moving or shifting when it's actually in there after you tighten down the back cap. Now all of this goes into the top side of the torch. Now the torch itself is, you know, the torch body has a couple of serviceable components on it. Those are the insulator and the handle itself. Both of these are usually assembled and shipped with the torch itself, but they are available as serviceable items. You can buy replacement insulators and you can buy replacement handles sometimes. They're a little harder to come by. Usually the handle comes with the torch itself, but those two are serviceable and removable items. Now moving on to the bottom of the torch, we have what we call the collet body. The collet body houses the collet, and this is what the actual collet presses up against inside of it when you tighten it down to hold the tungsten in place. Now the collet body has two different types. They are the standard type and the gas lens type. Now the best way that I can describe the difference between a standard collet body and a gas lens is kind of audible. <laughs> so bear with me here. The gas lens will smooth out the argon flow, making a nice little pillowy cushion. So it's kind of like the difference between and the standard collet body will go and be a little more turbulent, but the gas lens itself will be more smooth and pillowy. In order to direct the argon flow, we gotta have the cups. Now the cups are available in multiple different sizes, and one of these days we'll get into the consumable video and all the rest of that good stuff. So there's your parts. They're pretty much the same throughout all. They're not necessarily interchangeable, but we'll get into uh, assembly and all the rest of that good stuff. If you wanna learn more about that, about your consumables and stuff like that, watch the full Take Torch episode. So let's put these together. Now start by grabbing a hold of the torch you want to assemble. In this case, it's gonna be our number nine torch. Grab a hold of the collet body and screw it into the bottom of the torch, or as in the uh, insulator side of the torch. Next we need the collet. The collet slips into the collet body, just like so, and grab a hold of a back cap. You can choose small, medium, large, whichever one you want. Usually it's dictated by the size of your tungsten. Now you want to put the back cap on there, but do not tighten it down. Now grab a hold of your tungsten, slide it up through the collet and the collet body. Now as you put the tungsten in there, make sure you leave plenty enough to stick out and then give it just a little bit of a snug with the back cap. Now grab a hold of a cup. When you slide the cup over, you'll see a ton of protrusion of the tungsten, but this is how you'll easily set it, and not worry about it getting sucked back up into the cup or falling back out. Now the general rule for tungsten stick out is very, very simple. The orifice, or the size of the cup, is how far you can stick the tungsten out. So if you have a number four cup, you can stick the tungsten out about a quarter of an inch, roughly six millimeters. If you have a number 12 cup, which has a three quarter inch orifice, you can stick the tungsten out about three quarters of an inch roughly 19 millimeters. So just remember the size of the orifice of the cup is how far you can stick the tungsten out. Now we did just speed up the process of assembling the number 17 torch, but please understand it is the exact same as assembling a number nine torch, just the components are a little bit larger, but identical as far as process. So we'll show you a little bit about installing a gas lens into your number nine or 17 torch. The only thing that ever changes on one of these as far as standard components goes is the actual lens itself. So the collet body is now equipped with a gas lens, which is basically a larger barrel with lots of screens to smooth out the argon. So the collet on the inside stays the same, the insulator stays the same, everything is identical when it comes to standard fit components like this. The only difference is the collet body itself is now equipped with a gas lens and the cup itself is much larger. So if you ever need to install a gas lens, all you have to do is remove the standard cup and collet body and then replace it with the gas lens, collet body, and gas lens style cup. That's it. 
Now on to the number 17 stubby kit. Now take your 17, 18, or 26 torch, pop the insulator off of it. This can usually come out with a small screwdriver, pry up on the inside, not the outside. It actually it comes off a lot easier that way. Slap on the new insulator, which is a flat insulator. Now this will allow the cup to actually sit flush up against it because it doesn't have a tapered end on it. Now grab a hold of the stubby collet body. In this case, we have one with a gas lens, definitely the one I recommend for using. Screw it into the bottom of the torch, drop the special collet right down through the top of it. I'm gonna use a stubby back cap on this one just because it's, you, know, you can use whatever size you want. Again, all about which uh, size tungsten you use. But speaking of tungsten, we'll grab a hold of that, slide it up in through there, just the same as we did before with any other one. Now remember to stick it out just a little bit or have enough protrusion in there so you can handle it. Take any number nine gas lens style cup and screw it onto the stubby kit. It's really that easy. Now any number nine style gas lens cup will fit on the new stubby kit or the stubby collet body, as long as it's a gas lens style. Now if you chose to use a stubby kit that is not a gas lens style, then you use a regular number nine cup. Now you put the two of them together side by side, here's a number 17 regular versus the stubby, and then a number nine regular versus a 17 stubby. That's a pretty big difference. It actually drops it down in size quite well. So let's actually get into some other side-by-sides here. Now they're somewhere shy of just, I don't know, about 11 gabillion uh, different ways that you can uh, put torches side-by-side -side for comparison. So these are the most common ones I get, or at least the most common questions I receive about it. Let's start with the top three, all standard consumables, 26, 17, and number nine. Notice that the number 17 and 26 consumables are pretty much the same length as a full number nine back cap. That's pretty big. You put the number nine up against the 17, that's a pretty large difference, all in standard consumables. Now the number nine against the 26. The 26 is a massive handle. Number 17 versus the 26. Number 17 versus 17 stubby. Number nine versus number 17 stubby. And number nine gas lens with a stubby cap versus 17 stubby. Pretty simple stuff. Yep, a little bit slower, but it is a quick tip episode just for you guys to reference because you guys asked for it. So if you have any questions, you can always subscribe and ring the bell. You can uh, hit us up on the fabricationseries.com website, Instagram at the.fabricator, Facebook.com slash the fabricator series. All that information is in the description below. I want to thank you guys for watching as always. We'll see you guys on the next episode.